as I'm live. Let's hope it holds. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Sandra. How are you, darling? <laughs> this is my second take. <laughs> Let me see if this one works. <laughs> Oh, yay, Bootsy. I changed uh, browsers and uh, I don't know. I, it's stormy here. So, you know, I don't know how the signal will hold up. I don't know if you followed the news, but uh, just really hurt bad with huge tornadoes. Uh, they thought maybe a twin to tornado there. Yeah. Oh, that's good, Sandra. I'm t I stay tired, so that's <laughs> I understand that. Um. Oh wow. Good. <laughs> that sounds really good. I had a beef pot pie last night that was good. And uh, <laughs> it's awful and deadly. <laughs> What's well, awful and deadly? The storms we had. Yes, the storms are. Hi, Janie. How are you, darling? Good morning. Uh, yeah, we had some horrible ones last night. We had one that was a mile wide. Started around Webb City, and uh, which is down around Joplin and and the state line, and um, went all the way through uh, the eastern part of Missouri, and it was a mile wide. Then there was a report of twin tornadoes and a tornado touching down men in and Jefferson City, and we're just now getting the pictures of it, but it tore the town up pretty bad. And I heard there were several people trapped, and, um, you know, they were still looking for some people. But, uh, yeah, it, Sandra, it was horrible. And the flooding is, is going to be a terrible aftermath because it's flooding out all the farmers here in Missouri. They've not been able to plant crops. If they got crops in the ground, they've been flooded out. Um, and with the tariffs on everything, this is going to be a killer year for the farmers and especially the, uh, unincorporated farmers, the, uh, you know, there's, uh, corporate farms all over everywhere, but the ones that are not part of that are going to be hurt really seriously bad. And I feel so sorry for them, um, because it has, you know, all the rivers are flooded out of the banks. And so watch it. And it, it's amazing what all is going on. And we need to pray for them all because it's just horrible. Uh, I posted some of it last night. I haven't posted a whole lot today because I hadn't seen any pictures of Jefferson City until right before I come on. Mother Nature is very angry. She is very angry. And uh, unless we change our ways, she's going to continue to be angry. I really believe in glo global warming and the, the effects that it's causing on our uh, our world. This these temperatures and these, uh, you know, we've always had strong tornadoes and that kind of thing in the Midwest. That's that's part of living here, but they are getting worse and they're getting more frequent. And the flooding is getting more frequent. And uh, you know, it's just it's just hard to predict what is going to happen next. You know, look at the snow we had this year. It was a huge amount of snow. And uh, it wasn't here, but it was um, all across the United States. Yes, and menopausal. That's a good, yeah. 
<laughs> which is not not a good state for a woman. <laughs> going to go on and use up my paper, do my, continue my series of uh, Taming the Paper Stash. And all of my tags here are uh, junk mail that I get. And, you know, these are all posed here because I got a huge amount of them. But they're too good to let you know, just not use. So uh, right now they're a little flimsy because they're still a little wet. And I am kind of waiting for these to dry, but I need to make some tags for Spanky. But you know what I did is I'd come on and I didn't go get the props. So I have no idea what Spanky needs <laughs> or what her what her things were. And I was hoping that she would come in and I'd go after them. And I was going to kill two birds with one stone and make tags. and uh, you know, tame the stash. So I think what I'll go ahead and do is maybe just cut some more while these are drying. And uh, I have got all kinds of junk mail that needs to be used. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while we're talking. And get some out of that chipboard too. Uh, so we're going to uh, use up this mail. And I get my board out here. And I save all of these I get. This is from Dish. And I get a lot of stuff from them. And, you know, I just keep it in. Make tags out of it. <laughs> oh, that's that's not good. <laughs> I don't want the cemetery to be sending me junk mail. <laughs> Spanky's tags are uh, three and a half by seven, so that's what I cut this at. And uh, find my scissors here and cut the top of this. And that's not straight, but you know, it's, it'll be all right. We'll up here. That looks good to me. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is what I use for my tags. And after you gesso them and put paper on the back and paint on the front or whatever you're going to do, they get really stiff. They're a little bit loose right now, but you know, not bad. And then I use these pieces. I just cut these in. Let's see how long this is. From here to here, it's 10 inches. So I'm going to cut it at five inches. Nope, that ain't right. That one right. It must have been nine inches. Uh, yeah, it's nine inches. So I'm going to cut it at four and a half inches, which would be half. And then make some smaller tags that can go in the books or wherever, pockets. And then I've got two more made. This is how I tame down all of these. Uh, junk mail things that I get. Some of these I like to keep because they're uh, good for flip out the pockets. Hi, Space Galleria. How are you? But uh, this one I'm not going to worry about. It would take a lot of gesso to cover up all that black. And it will on tags too. But So...
and then at three and a half. And then these are seven inch. I'm just going to cut down just with my scissors a little ways down, cut off the ends, and make some little tags like that. Put your hole in them. And then these I can all just put in one small box uh, cleaned up. And <laughs> you space galleria thank you so much for your thumbs up i appreciate it uh okay now i'm gonna cut these down we'll cut them a little farther and i could measure them but you know i'm just i'm just uh not too worried about that being perfectly straight so there's two more made and then I have this one, which is a whole brochure. Uh, they're building in my hometown of Republic. And I want you to look how far this comes out. So, you know, there's tags in this one. So we're going to just cut it in each of the sections. And I never throw any of these away. I mean, literally do not throw them away because it's just it's such, it's, you know, it costs quite a bit to get more of the cardstock paper. And uh, if I can get it in the mail and get it for free, uh, what's well, a little gesso to make some tags of it. So and I've got another one right here of the same kind. So these are going to make a lot. I'm going to cut these down a little bit differently, though, because I want some tags for some books. So I'm going to go. I don't want to cut four of them at one time, though, which is what I have there. Let's do that again. We can do two, but I don't want to cut four. We'll cut these at three and a half and leave them right where they're at as far as the size, the length. And. So cut up all your junk mail, keep it all. Uh, well, you know, what would it be better is if I didn't keep it all, if I cut it up as I got it. But I don't. When I bring it up here and stick it in a box, and then I have to, like I call it, tame in my, uh, my paper stash to try and clean my room up where I can find something. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing is trying to, clean up the area, make it look a little better, get it where I can find it, you know, play around with it a little bit. And and, uh, and all these pieces I keep for uh, clusters. So, yeah, in the process of making a stash, you make littler stash, and they're just about as, and sometimes I just pick them up and throw them away. Uh I get tired of handling them. I get tired of messing with them. And if I've got too many, just pick them up and throw them away. It's paper and you're going to gather it back. Uh, everybody says, oh, never throw away anything. Don't throw away anything. Ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> this is junk mail. If I wasn't cutting it up for these tags, I would be throwing it in the trash. So, you know, that's, that's the way I look at it. And so... You know, if you if you've got something that you can use it for, if you're going to make a book, or you know, uh, I know Bootsy, you and Stacy crochet a lot. Tags are a really great way, or paper is a really great way to tame your uh, crochet thread. You know, you can always wrap around and around this stuff and make you a cut your little notch in it and wrap it around and around and tame your. They're small, all tangled up. And I know because I did crochet for a long time and knit. And uh, that was one of my biggest pet peeves is I put them down in my bag. And, and then it was, couldn't get them out and, you know, make anything out of them. And 
cut that off just a little. Whew, I cut that one sharp. Let's cut some of that off too. Don't need that sharp. You see, I, I'm don't, I don't worry about making a mistake on these because it's done now. So it's it's okay. But look what a stack I've got already. I mean, this is, it's building up. So uh, this is going to be great to have. I also have boxes that I keep that I use for uh, junk journals. These are actually cut down into uh, book size. Uh, but I have used these to make um, tags out of, and they're really great. They would. They would. And especially if you decorate them really, you know, really pretty. Um, you know, a little velvet on them or a little dark blue paint or whatever your background, you know, that you want. I'm going to cut this one up. Oh, wait a minute. Not this one. I'm going to cut this one up. Uh, and these really sturdy. And to make a display with them, all you would have to do. Let's get this down over here. This has got a little bit of a back on it. So uh, a side that's glued in. And I would have to even that out for a, a book. So I'm just going to cut it down for tags. And I'm going to cut that right in that fold right there. And it didn't cut real good. But we're going to take this to finish it off. And then cut this piece off. And this and I will probably just throw away because it has got that uh, extra piece on it. And I'm going to have to cut it again. Your side. Try it again. All right. Now. I'm going to cut this down to three and a half. Or just in half, either one, something like that. Throw this piece away. And now I've got four cardstock tags that would be uh, really good for this. Well, honey, you could, I'll tell you what you could do with these. You could crease these over. Like this. Punch you two holes right here to put your earrings on. Decorate them up and then decorate the backside. And when you're ready to take them out of the display, you can curve them over and and uh, hook them right here. And then that would store your earrings in your display. So they would stand up. You know, the cardstock is heavy enough to do that. So, yeah, just uh, that was a silly thing to do because my arthritis is bad in my hands, and I just went through three of those. But I can't punch them. So, you know, and even if you wanted it in a tag shape, you could um, you could even make it matchbook style if you wanted to turn up one end like this. Turn it up like that, except that's the wrong direction. Let's turn it this way. Then you could take this and, you know, you could fold it to, to meet that. And you would have a matchbook style. End. You see what I did? I mean, that's not, this is not good because I used the same one. But yeah, you could do that really easy. Just make it match, matchbook size. So there would be like that. And then this would need to be uh, bone folded down. And then just turn it up and over. And there's a stand. If you had that where it would stand, it didn't have that other crease stand. So, because I can use that in a book for a little tuck spot, or something like that. So, uh, 
yeah, I think that would be a great idea. And you could decorate them however you wanted with your scrapbook paper or, you know, whatever. You could paint them. You could scrapbook paper them, whatever you wanted to do. So this was ripped. So I'm going to take this front piece off first and get half of that off because it's ripped on that side. I will cut it down and make these a little smaller tags so I can get rid of the rip. I'll cut that off like that and then cut that in half. Some water around in there. I'm not going to worry about whether or not they're exactly the same. And well, that's pretty close. A little bit off. But cut here and cut here. And there's two more tags out of that one. And I kind of like having all different kinds of tags. Um, I would like to learn how to do some beading, Sandra, and put some uh, beads on my tags. You know, put some. Uh, I I make fluffy books. I make big books. And one of the, the things that I have been teased about is that I always make gigantic books. And they get too thick. thick. And, um, and I do. I make big books. But I really need to tame them just a little bit because I have found that shipping is really hard. <laughs> so I really need to come over and watch your channel and learn how to make some beads. And, uh, or maybe just get in there and buy some beads from you would be a nice thing. <laughs> and I wouldn't have to worry about it and you would be selling stuff. Hey, hey. <laughs> that would work, wouldn't it? Let's see. Let's do these at three inch. I've got a lot made in the seven and a half inch and uh, just added to them. So there's three inch, three inch and whatever that one is. That's probably about two inches across. I believe it is. Are you going to? Yay. Well, I need to come over and uh, and watch and see if I can help out a little bit because I'd like to have some beads that were, you know, I want them to be able to lay in a book fairly flat, but I need to start decorating mine a little bit different. Um, I'm trying to make my clusters a little flatter. My, um, you know, all the embellishments a little flatter and not so decorated. Oh, that's cool. All right. Well, it depends on how much they cost, honey, because I'm still running on a budget budget. I'll tell you. It's uh, it's not any easier around here. That's that's for sure. That's one of the reasons why I do all this, because, it, you know, this doesn't cost me anything. This this. Doing what I'm doing right now doesn't cost me a thing. And uh, it's, it's stuff that's sent to me. And I don't have to go buy it. I don't have to do anything with it. And uh, I have paint and baby powder and, and glue that I can make gesso out of. And that's what I make my gesso out of. And, um, you know, that's... So that's... I make my own stuff, and I like to make it. I, I enjoy making it. Yes, free is always good. <laughs> free is good. But, you know, that's not saying that I wouldn't buy some beads. Because there's some things I just don't like to do and don't want to do. <laughs> and probably I'm not going to do. <laughs> I've got a lot of beads in my stash that my sister gave me because she's a she's a jewelry maker and uh, I rarely use them because I just don't know how to make them work. Hi, Spanky. I was hoping you would come in. I'm sitting here cutting up tags because I don't know the prompts. <laughs> I don't know the prompts. And I was letting my gesso dry. I need prompts for 16, 17, and 18, I think, is what I'm off on. 
<laughs> and I tried to post on Facebook, and I don't know if I ever got it. I got going live. Yeah, address on it or the. So, anyway, that's a, this is a good way to use up your paper stash, and this is a coupon right here that I'm not going to use, and it is perforated, so I'm going to fold over. And uh, cut it into. And some of them I like to leave because if they're the, the right size, you can, of course, make a pocket on your tag, which is always nice. Okay, honey. You know, you can put a, a pocket here on them and then have two things. So, uh these will go in my cluster box. <clears throat> so out of that, those four pieces, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Here's one that's not poked. Let's do that one. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 tags out of Three pieces of junk mail. Easter theme, joy, use paper, eggs, pink, yellow, and blue. Okay, let me write this down. <laughs> I, I may skip Easter theme. Since Easter's over with, I may skip that one and we go on to um, the next one. I don't know. Okay. I got to find some paper. <laughs> I'm, I'm taming the paper stash. I got to find some paper. Okay. This I'm not going to uh, to worry about getting rid of because this is old. Mm. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm getting my pen. Okay. Uh, week 17. And week 16 is uh, Joy. And uh, I'm going to leave off the eggs. I'll do the pink, yellow, and blue. Okay, week 17 is sweet. Use washi tape. Oh, I don't have anything but uh, washi that is Christmas. And pastel colors. Okay, and uh, week 18, splash, drip water, and three shades of blue. Ooh, and I don't know if I've got three shades of blue either. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to see if I can do those two. So, but anyway, we're going to try. Uh, this this is all out of house humor, and this is really an old tablet. Yeah, I, I figured that, honey. Well, yeah, but you know, I want to make them pretty, honey. Yes. Okay. Uh, this says I have written sooner, but I'm usually out of the house. <laughs> and here's one. Don't mean to raise the stink, but why haven't you written? I love this tablet. Get a move on. And <laughs> yeah, I'm too... Uh... And, and this is also taming my paper stash at the same time because I made 30 some odd cards here in just a matter of a few minutes. 
they're not all spanky size. I've got some longer ones in here that are, you know, which I have done. Uh, this one is too too thin, but so these are these are for spanky. But this is you know stuff that I can uh, put in my stash that get a move on. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I should send Kathy a copy of that. <laughs> and I gessoed tags this morning. I made some gesso, and uh, it's not my. I'm about, out, I'm about out of white paint, and so I, you know, these are a little bit thin on the paint, and I will put some more in the jug. But I gessoed some, and these are all junk mail. So, you know, if if you want to make them really pretty for a book. You put some paper on the back of them. Uh, okay, I've been there, Kathy. But, you know, I find I get more of mine back if I organize, if I get, and you're not organized because you're trying to clean out. And that, you know, just gives you all kinds of trouble. But if I can get my paper organized and my stuff organized, then I'm a lot more productive. But when I get it out of hand like it is, is now it is really really i mean i just i just lose it i don't get anything accomplished uh, um you know i'm just in a mess i just don't get anything accomplished and i'm sure that's what part of your sub yours is that one's more dry this one's more dry that one's more dry and these are still a little bit damp so i'm gonna put them back over there and let them dry and uh and girls, I found something out. Keep a bottle, and this goes for all you crafters. Keep a bottle of spray bottle. I just use Windex bottle of Murphy's oil soap and water. And I mean to tell you, it will clean up your brushes, your stencils. It will clean up anything off the desk. Yes, I, I know what you're saying. But, Kathy. If you've got, uh, you know, if you've got something that you don't like, put it on a, put it on a tag, get it ready to go to somebody else to for a, a happy mail or a giveaway or, you know, getting, um, yeah, mine is horrible. And if I could move my camera, I would show you what it looks like. I mean, I've got paper just stashed everywhere. And my paper is my biggest deal, my biggest ordeal. The rest of the stuff I've got pretty well tamed. That and my cards. And I'm fixing to cut cards down and do some tags with the backs and whatever. And to uh, organize my cards because I've got three boxes of cards now. So it, they need to be, you know, they need to be tamed down. It's it's time to tame them. And that's what I'm going to try to do. So is, this is all about taming the paper stash. I even just sewed an envelope this morning that came to me. Uh, I can use this for happy. Let's get the paints out and see what we can do. Oh, I know. Why, well, honey? I'm leaving. Okay, is Tom all right? Yeah. Excuse me, just a minute. Supper's done. Okay. I left it out because it's still hot. I don't want it in the fridge yet. Okay, I'll put it in the fridge when I come down. Okay. Thank you, honey. Will I see you later on? You want to come for supper? Uh, no, I have an interview to go to. That's why I'm leaving like 10 minutes early. Okay. Okay, I'll see you later then. I love you. I love you too. That was my granddaughter that helps me out. and. So she was here this morning working and, and uh, that, that, that would be great. You know what? I've still got my book here that I need to send out and I have not finished it. And all I need to do is put the charms on it. That's all I need to do. Janie, I'm glad you're still listening, honey. But if I can get a hold of this. And get things more in order. I find that I can craft a lot of different projects. Because I know where everything is. 
And when you've got everything pulled out and in the middle of the floor and messed up, I've got two boxes of stuff that has come in the mail, which I need to do a, you know, these are my um, auctions that I went to. Right here is one from, uh, uh, yeah, let's see. Can I remember who this came from? This is, this is my flocker swap. And I've got to do that. So, and she sent me all kinds of painty papers and wonderful paper, more papers, more papers to uh, to tame and deal with. And uh, and look at this. She sent me a uh, dream catcher. Kathy, you need that. And um, just some pretty things, really pretty things. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to have lots of, of stash left over from this one. And again, I will tame them and, and a big bag of ephemera type stuff. I, I'm, I'm tickled. I'm tickled. And it's, this is from Janice Lines and I've got to do her page. Hi, Sabrina. So I got that. I got the one from Carehart and I did a video on it. I'm going to show it again, but it was my, um, kits for making golden books and um, then this was downstairs and I'm going to do something with this I may put this in the middle of a canvas this is an antique and put a picture in it isn't that cool So, you know, I may set this through the canvas and then decorate on it. You know, build it up, do some mixed media around it. It is very cool. So I have that to work with. And I've got ideas for all this stuff. I've just got to get it, you know, get it going. Steampunk it, yes. This is my stuff from my sweet Janie that's listening. And she sent me all kinds of stencils. And some I bought, some she sent me was just a sweetheart. And to use. And I'm going to make something pretty with these. These are pull off wall stickers. And there is all sorts of flowers in here. And I'm thinking altered altered bottles or something. I want you to look. Aren't those pretty? And they are stickers. Just stick on. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I sit at mine and I don't do anything. I just sit and watch. And... So, I, yeah, it's time to get productive. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to do this. Uh, let's craft together. Uh, let's tame our stash together or whatever. Uh, look at all this beautiful music paper. This is wonderful. Look at that. Little Tommy Tucker. Look at that. These were beautiful. I loved them. So anyway, yeah, I had to have some. I had to have some. <laughs> so. And then the stencils. I've got Christmas stencils, which I will have put up for right now. But look at this one. There's a steampunk one. Hi, Linda. And then here is more paper that can be used on these or anything I want, and I will put this, I will make a pad, these are, oh, these are envelopes, oh my, hello, I will just put these down in my envelope drawer, aren't those pretty, those are library pockets, oh, <laughs> yay, hey, 24 of them, it says, 
and then like I said, some stencils in the rest of it. So I will put these down here in the drawer with my envelopes because I will use those. And I have a pocket a drawer full right here. Here is more paper that I brought up to deal with. Looky here. I got more stuff to <laughs> to use. <laughs> Look at that. That's an automatic pocket. Don't have to do anything to it. There's the automatic tags. You can do three of them. And then a close over. I know, Linda. I know. And then this pocket is amazing and that was a bead that was downstairs but this pocket is good feeling weight and then i brought up some of my old uh, tickets and stuff but i would put them in this is a tag from anita and it's so pretty this is my seating when i went to oakland to the races bought a ticket and this is when this is a piece about me winning a uh, online recipe contest, and uh, I got a blue star. It was from just a pitch, but I really it wasn't a contest. It was just the recipe uh, won a, a gold uh, blue ribbon. So anyway, and then these are my plane tickets, and you know. I can gesso out my name. They can be used. This is to be fixed for my granddaughter. This is jewelry that I had hanging in my uh, bathroom forever, and it needs to be used up. Yay! And here are stamps that was sent to me from the, uh, you know, buy online type thing. This is a test page. This is the real stamps. And uh, I'm going to use them. I'll just use them up here. So those need to be cut out and dealt with. And so anyway, and then I forgot what I was doing. But here's the rest of the stencils. And I love them. So, Janie, thank you so much, honey, for your addition to what I bought because it was wonderful and kind hearted and there are two packages in them in here and I love them and thank you so much. So those will go in my stencil stack. And yeah, I mean I just the paper just keeps coming. <laughs> I keep buying it and I keep using it and I keep you know getting it in the mail. But this is a wonderful pocket for a, a junk journal. You know, and just gesso this up and decorate with some different paper. You've got a peek through spot. You could do this. Then we've got, I've got these, which I just received. And I bought these from Susan, I believe. No, I bought these from Shannon. Yeah, these are from Shannon. Or and not all of them did I buy, but some of them was bought for me. So this is wonderful stuff. And I may use a few of them on the back of the tags to on these smaller ones. That would make great backs for the tags right there. And uh and along with it, I've got more junk mail. <laughs> so look at all this that I need to cut up right here now on top of what I done so it, it I need to do is do these now instead of waiting until these are this is nice and thick and instead of waiting for a that's a magnet for them to become a problem like I do. 
so you know it's it's uh this stuff see and all of this stuff is stuff that i what what do i do with this now i need to find files to put this kind of stuff in instead of having them tucked away and not know where they are that's that's my feeling because i don't know where anything is There's more blue. What's more blue, honey? I need to make these blue. Okay. The first one, I wrote these down when I did my tablet. These need to go over here and I need to deal with them. I'm going to put those away. Use the blue pieces in the tag. What blue pieces? The glitter pieces? Out of this envelope? Oh, the junk mail like that? It's already cut up from my tags. <laughs> And actually, see, there's the colors are on the back here, too. All of them has some colors. Here's here's the rest of my tags. She was on them. This is land dealership. That's pretty green. Nut stickers. Okay. I may never get these things done. I keep showing what I got and but oh my gosh, I have paper glory in here. Look at look at this one. You talk about having some joyful papers in here. Have I got one the color <laughs> that I need? Where's my tablet? Where's my tablet? Where'd I put my tablet? Oh my lord, I've lost my tablet. <laughs> <laughs> it's under here. Look at these. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I do too. So I'm thinking this would work for pastel colors. That's what I'm thinking. So let's cut this to fit that tag. First off, I need to cut off that top piece. And then do one at three and a half. Hey, will this work for Easter too? Pink, yellow, and blue. No. Okay. Well, it would if I splash a little blue on it. Okay. And then seven. I like that side too. But I think I like the bubbles better because I could use a little blue around those bubbles and a little yellow and I would have the tag. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to cut another one to put on the back side of it. And a half. 
by seven. We get just get both sides at it at the same time. Make it a little thicker. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Let's start this gluing process. And I'm going to just use thick glue. So I wouldn't have had to have gessoed all these if I'd looked at that paper and decided this beforehand. But it's all right. Am I supposed to have paint on these? Is this supposed to be paint? <laughs> because I cut corners a lot. I do. I do. I do. I do. Or just pink, yellow, and blue. I can do that. It doesn't say it has to be picked. Okay. My tag's a little bit longer than my paper. I'm going to do a little trimming right here. And right here, and then we got to cut that spot again. Let's see if I can feel it in there. I'm believe it's down pretty far. Right there. Maybe. If not, we've made a new hole. Okay, come on. There we go. I believe we made a new hole. Now. But I've got somewhere I have those new crayons. Where did they go? Where are they? And more paper to deal with. Here's that fabric that I bought. This is either going to be a purse or it's going to be pillows. And isn't that pretty? That's pretty. And then I've got these distressed crayons that I have no idea how to use. Let's see. Here's yellows in this one. So we're going to pull that one out. I went kind of crazy on the auctions last last month, and I've got to quit that. <laughs> Hi, Lolly. Let's see if we can't use these distressed crayons. Oh, they glide so pretty. Add some color around some of these. Oh, I love that. Okay. Where's my blues? Blue right here.
Can you add water to these to make them blend more? These distressed crayons. And I've got one down here I need to fill in. Get that blue down to the bottom. Okay. I could add a little bit more pink on it. Um, wait for that. And let's do a little bit darker pink in some of these. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. It's the first time I've ever had any distressed crayons. So I'm liking that. Okay. Now I need the word joy on it. Let's see, because I got this template from Gerhardt. And let's see if it has joy on it. I love this. It doesn't have it on here, but it, it, it says, You are the peanut to my butter, water to my ocean, spring in my step, Twinkle in my eyes, blue in my sky, sweet in my dreams, beat up my heart, love of my life. Aren't those cool? I wanted it to have joy on it really bad. Uh, let's see. I do have some stencils from, ah, uh, let's look right here. See if Joy's on one of these. Not on that one. There's lettering. Sleigh ride. Snowman and no joy. Angels. Back in stencil joy. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking right across there with black ink. With black ink. J. There's the O. And a Y right here. It's simple, but it's cute. I, I'm loving those crayons. Those are cool to color with. So, there is uh, 
What? What is this one? Weak house. Can you hear it? I'm going to have to get, get him out of here. I have a white pen. Let's see if we can go around this. Nope, that's black. That's all right. We can go around that and darken it down just a little. Come on. Stay in line, Mary. Not real straight with that, I'll tell you for sure. Now, I have a white one somewhere. Right here. Not going to show up too good. Whoa. I don't like that spot. <laughs> Got a little way. Now, let's see. What if we took this color and just run over the edges with this and slightly rubbed it in? And distress the edges a little bit with it. Right there. And right there. Oh, it's a looking better all the time. I'm liking this crayon business. <laughs> you know, I didn't. Now. Does that work, Spanky? Look how far I'm out here with Joy. Joey. <laughs> I could put a heart right there or something. But anyway. Okay. <laughs> Restickable glue, but it will settle down here in a little bit. Okay, the second one. What are we going to do on this one? This one is sweet, washy, and pastels again. So let's see if we can't find another pastel color in that book. Or we can paint it with pastel colors. We can use these crayons. I'm liking these crayons. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if we can't just. Uh... Blend these out. Because I like that. It's a pretty bright yellow. I can't say that that's really a pastel, but. And what was the sweet as the sentiment? I just seen something that had sweet on it. I can't remember what it was. Is it this? Sweeten my dreams. So let's get this sweet out here. The sweet in my step. I 
I really like this effect it gives on the gesso too. Kind of gives a grainy effect to it. Okay, there's where I'm going to put my sentiment. And I'm going to down here on the bottom. That. And then the green. Okay. You can always tell mine because I go at it. She's on heavy cardstock. And this up here. Okay, we're going to thin her down just a little bit right here and a little bit across here. <laughs> 